Super. 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 And we are back. This is Super BS. Just waiting to give you guys the sweet things that you love. Um, my name is Brian Brink. Broderson Wagoner. So that Brink wow, Broderson was, last name. In, was in quotes because that was my old alias. I miss it, love it, and I think about it every day. Um, <laughs> Josh uh, Josh Palderson is out with a family emergency this week. Uh, he will be back. We miss him and tell him we love him every day of the week. <laughs> every day. And who is on my left if it isn't Stank Bank? <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to make sure everyone knows I wasn't laughing at the family emergency. I was laughing at Palderson. Uh, I don't know. I want, about that. That. I want that to be clear. I let the record show. <laughs> uh, thoughts, thoughts and prayers to Josh and his family for real. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah for sure. So who is this? And Who's this, this talking? This, this, this is freak. Dave. And this is Dave. Dave, a stank bank. Uh, Dave, we don't know his last name still. No, nope. yeah, you're not gonna get it. You gotta, uh, you know, gotta get on Patreon to get that last oh name. My goodness, Dang. I don't give that out for free. All, oh, and there's somebody here whispering in the background from last week. This guy came back, blast from the past. <laughs> who is it? Brian Wagner. Damn you. I said Jake. Jake, That's, that's not his real name. <laughs> so what's your name, man? Tell us. Oh, crap. I don't remember. What was oh, it? Oh, my. Um, uh, yeah. Vita Vita? Oh, Vita Vita. Vita Vita. Vita Vita, uh. Vita, Vita Baby Vita. <laughs> that's my daughter's name. but I'm, That's right. That's right. It's also my... It's a family name. It's my, it's a family. Jake McShafes <laughs> will call you then if you don't want to get uh, Vita Vita. My real name is Jake Mark Schaefer. For anyone that's listening, you can uh, follow, go to my website at jakeandmarkschaefer.com. But uh, Vita Vita here. Plugs. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to cut that plug <laughs> out. I, post stop. I also, put all plugs. Also <laughs> sitting in for Donna, who's also oh doing, my goodness going through some medical stuff. But he will be back. He yeah, will with a vengeance. And, <laughs> With and Josh, we're just trying to keep him out of here, man. I have to lock him <laughs> the door on that guy. Keeps playing Halo Wars 2. Nobody wants to hear about that. Hear about Halo <laughs> he Wars beat it. Too. Why is he still playing it? He should have stopped playing it weeks ago. Anyways. Once, once you stop liking something, you should stop playing it. That is true. And I don't even like it when people go back and play something or watch a movie that they've already seen. It makes me sick. Right. I don't like when people like things. Okay? No one's ever done that. I like just you watch the thing, you listen to it once, you throw it in the trash, <laughs> and you burn it. <laughs> throwaway culture. That's uh, We're throwaway culture. Okay, We're millennials, Trap. guys. Get used to it. <laughs> My young teenage body just doesn't like it. <laughs> oh. Kingdom Hearts body. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a baby when Kingdom Ooh. Hearts came out. So <laughs> Production baby. So, so what's Jakey? on the agenda? Oh, what's on the agenda? That's the good question for you. Jakey, what you been playing this week? Um, Give us the truth. Been playing. <laughs> Into us. One of those anime uh, Steam sale games. Uh, That's ooh. all he plays all <laughs> week. No, I've been playing Shovel Knight for the first time. Nice. And it is fantastic. No, it's great. Uh, where are you in it? Very, uh, pff, the second castle, third castle. Um, but I'm loving it. It wasn't, I watched other people play it um, just kind of offhandedly and wasn't that impressed. But I really didn't give it the time. And then I was visiting Donna and was watching him play it on a Switch, which I got to play for the first time on the Switch. Nice. And my quick two cents on the Switch is it looks awesome. Didn't like the controllers that came with the Switch, but I heard the Pro controllers are better. It's way better. Way better. So, but I loved, you know, playing the Switch. It was it was pretty awesome. Played it is night. cool. Real what, quick, what, what do you the, play us on the Switch? What about the controllers? Isn't there the Joy Cons that come on the on the? That's pad? what he's talking about. Yeah, the, the ones that came babes. with it was you, not. You don't eh. like no, those. Well, here's the deal. I I'd probably get used to it, right? Any controller I've I've always gotten used to yeah. it, right? Hmm. But this one did feel extra funky to me hmm. off, yeah. right off the bat. It's because the D-pad. There's no D-pad. Like the D-pad, the D-bag? Is that what you're, you're calling Jake yeah. a D-bag? I'm calling J- wow. I said he's a D-bag. I said Low. Vita, D- Vita. <laughs> The D-pad. Below the analog stick, there's a D-pad up, down, left, right, just like on the original yeah. Nintendo. But to make the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con be able to like split apart... They made those separate buttons. So, like, oh. if a second person's going to play, they can press those buttons as A, B, X, Y alternatives. Got it. Yeah. So it there's just... no D-pad, which makes a 2D platformers really difficult to play. So gotcha. it just felt extra funky. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm sure I could get used to it, but, I mean, if there's an option of a pro controller... The I question think, is, Nintendo, why didn't you just put the Pro, pro Controller out there with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. well, it's 70 bucks. That's why. You can make 70 uh, bones on that, sweet babe. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> anyway, so Shovel Knight. You've you been playing Shovel Knight on your Vita or just I, on the Switch over there? On my Vita. I went and got it. Okay, I've had it good. from a 
you know you got finally that, started playing it you got that kratos bad boy man you um, got to kill him and i'm kratos loving it in there <laughs> and I'm, I'm loving it mcdonald's it's a great game a lot of fun <laughs> um okay nice that's what i like to hear what you've been playing davy i've been playing some ori gotten a little more ori oh, yeah. i just beat that sweet jinsu tree oh nice is that the second or third tree uh i think it's the first tree where oh, nice. where you where you um, clear the pollution or the contamination within the tree, and then all nice. the water starts flooding, and it's a, a race to escape the the tree. It's That's really so fun, hard. Really fun sequence. Yeah, those escape scenes are like yeah. the hardest part of the game. It is though, really cool. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm playing it on hard. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's super rewarding when you beat a sequence <laughs> no, like that. It's not. Yeah, it is. It's um, really fun to play it on this hard. This game is one of those uh, rewarded types. <laughs> that's like that's like when Fallout Three came and you could play in hard mode. Uh huh. Where you have to drink water and all this oh, stuff, right? Survival mode. And survival mode. And yeah. I and I when all all the boys we got it. Uh huh. I don't know why, but I thought we all agreed. <laughs> nope. No one ever did I that. I thought <laughs> we all agreed we were going to be playing survival mode. Uh, so I, I put in that. like. 50 hours roughly and did yeah. not get very far <laughs> i was not as far as you guys yeah and then i was like you guys were like no that's not we're not playing playing hard mode we're just playing normal and i was like uh. well, but yeah. see but see you you probably learned a lot about yourself during and about that experience love and pursuits i've of happiness. learned that i don't care about playing hard normal mode is how i'll play Every game. Yeah, I'm a hardman. I'm a hardsman. I'm a hardsman, man. I like getting no. that hardsman Born all in, over me. Born and raised <laughs> oh. hardsman. Um, well, is anything else that you've been playing that's sweet? Uh, I've been trying to play Shadow of Mordor, but I had, just haven't had the courage to deal with Xbox customer service. Because oh, is they, it still saying you don't own yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's still saying I don't own it, even though I've already nice. played it. And they're like, oh, shoot. Phil, we know you listen to this podcast, man. <laughs> just help a brother out, we okay? We can't let Dave have fun. We have to charge him. Reggie, what it. are you doing? Hit us <laughs> up. <laughs> Reggie, I like Reggie. Reggie right. Had a Nintendo. <laughs> CEO. You know, he's got a hand in Microsoft. It. CEO they all collude. Nintendo. They're all in a board meeting talking about colluding. They're all there. But I love how you think they're going to charge you again when they already charged you the initial time. That's the Xbox way, man. They love charging. That's the AAA man. way. Reggie. Well, me. I'm going to go over what I've been playing then. I would real love quick. to hear what you've been Thank playing. Thank you. Pass. <laughs> I've uh, I've been playing a little bit of Horizon Zero Dawn, and by a little bit, I mean I've probably played another forty minutes. Has the game changed completely since you uh, talked those about 40 last minutes, week? Man, it is crazy. It's like night All those and day. updates, man. The game is just so. The photo mode, man. It's amazing. All the changes are probably better, but you're probably still mad about it. I am right? so oh. upset. I don't want a game that changes, okay? No, I want man. all those bugs. Give me want, those bugs. Give me them bugs. <laughs> give me them bugs. Um, no, yeah. it's, I, I played it a little bit. I'm like, I think still at the main beginning part. Um, when mm. when I'm watching movies, I'll probably, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 8. Been doing that 150cc, been going through those cups, getting those three stars, oh, gold. Yeah, it's so, so oh, cool yeah. to play a game over and over again. I love Every it. single system. Hey, I'm sorry that it's got 16 GPs on it, 16 different Grand Prix. I was going to ask, what does that even mean? I didn't. <laughs> Everybody knows what GPs are. But actually, I want to talk about something that I played today, which is kind of cool the mm. Destiny 2 beta. Whoa. Yeah. On the Xbox or on the on a Xbox? Xbox? Xbox. How was that? You um, get your wait, warlock on? One more time. I literally zoned out for about five <laughs> seconds. It's a there. long time no. to zone out. So, so what game? Destiny two. Destiny two. The beta. Um Destiny's yeah. Child Two. Destiny Child Two. You sing uh, all the songs. I'm a survivor. <laughs> um yeah, Lemonade, the Beyonce solo albums. Jake, sorry, that's different from the uh the Destiny's Child catalog. Oh, Frank really knows his oh, DC. Oh my goodness. When you get that mixed up with TLC, mm, that's when I that's get angry. A sin. That is wrong. We'll kick you right up the podcast. Don't get no love. That is true, Dave. Preach it. <laughs> so, so um, the the beta. It's oh, actually wow. it's really I, we need Josh. Oh man, Josh or I Donna. Miss you and Josh Dank Josh. and Donna Dank Kush, all of his <laughs> aliases. <laughs> we miss you, man. Uh, oh. No, Destiny Two beta. It's it's pretty great. I yeah. you know I felt the same thing about the Destiny One beta. I did not like Destiny One after I beat the base game. Uh, but I played through the story mode, which is like, hey, you go through a burning building, kill a bunch of guys. The gunplay's great. The running's great. The dialogue's actually okay. Is Peter Dinklage in there again? Peter Dinklage. Phoning it <laughs> in. They, they did not allow him to come back. <laughs> they uh, they left him on the boat of plot devices <laughs> of uh, people from Game of Thrones that are, get left behind. Cersei. Um, the actress who plays Cersei is in it, right? Uh, she's probably... She might Cersei. be in it. She's, she's been in some other games. No, but I played through it. It's still plays great and then i played a multiplayer match it's it's a fun game but i have a feeling once you beat it 
like the first one, it's just going to be kind of over. What makes it two as opposed to one? What makes well, it different? Well, they added a number to uh. it, okay? So they had one out. The graphics, the, dumb dumb. The graphics are better? Actually, they are. Because yeah. they the first one was on Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh-huh. So they had to kind of like scale it back so it could run on everything. Right. So this one, they didn't do that. But um, I don't know. I mean... Didn't they? I think for most... <laughs> didn't they? For most things... Um, There's a new class, right? No. There's not a new class? There is a new subclass, but they oh. added like two of those in the... Ex- or they had one of those in the expansions anyways hmm. in like uh, the Taken King expansion. Is it a full uh, full $60 full game? Full 60 bucks. Wow. Sounds like a cash grab. It is. As long as they give me new planets, I think that's the big thing. Like they only had four in the original, and if they only keep four for this, that's... I don't know. Whatever. I just don't do get why want. that couldn't have been given in multiple expansions. Like, yeah. why did they have to make a new game? I, I think it's because they made it, like, so convoluted and so, like... Just want to do a Noah's Ark flood yeah, They did. Thing. That's exactly <laughs> what they did. Their rationale on the plot is that all of your weapons and all of your stuff got destroyed <laughs> when Dude, the enemy attacked, so... I freaking there loved you go. the Noah's Ark game on Nintendo. That is oh, great. I would yeah. legit... Did anybody play 3D Noah's Ark, though, real quick? No. I no, wanted to play it. It was a Super Nintendo game. Back to my point. Yeah. I wish some indie developer or something out there made a game where you got to wrestle all the animals <laughs> up and get them onto that art. That was a fun that's game. That's what you got to do, man. That would be tight. <laughs> Real quick. I would play that. And that's why we should play the Super Noah 3D on SNES because it was actually a Doom mod where Whoa. your first person, Noah, who runs around, I think, like putting all the animals to sleep and grabbing them. Oh, my gosh. In first person. So it's awesome. First person. And there's also Nazis in there, probably, <laughs> from the Wolfenstein mod. Is Emma Watson in it? Or Emma, Russell Crowe? Emma Watson it's and a, Russell Crowe. It's a precursor man. to the movie. Oh, did you guys movie? watch that trash? <laughs> no. I, I did it on Netflix, I, I want to say. I did watch it. Yeah, it's amazing. And I kind of enjoyed it. Oh my god! Let's do a real quick movie minute. Have we been watching some movies? <laughs> minute, a New York minute. This is a movie minute. It might last a little bit longer than a minute, but I watched Baby Driver. Did we talk about that? Baby's Day Out. Baby's Day Out. Yeah, starring Baby Driver. Starring Baby um, Driver. I haven't seen it. Baby Driver. Heard or good Baby things. Driver. <laughs> I heard really good things. Yeah. It is cool. It's supposed to be like a modern musical or whatever, but well, it is hopefully just they'll fun. make two or three more and ruin it. Yeah, I want them to make like it the teen Fast and Driver, Furious, Young a, Adult Driver, and then a, Geriatrics Driver, a YA Driver for all YA. those kids, <laughs> uh, Texting Dun- Driver. Dunkirk's coming out. I'm pretty yeah, excited to see today. Oh, yeah, tonight, tonight, That's tonight, cool. six to n- six and nine. What I really like about it is it's all. It's just a white dude movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I don't like nope. it when everyone's represented positive. <laughs> no, We're going to cut this out. I, <laughs> actually, sarcasm, I only bring that I'm up sorry, because guys. it's getting flack for not having... <laughs> Oh really? For not um, having a diverse cat uh, cast. Uh, isn't, like, it, I, isn't it like a Western European? It's a it's it's an English army fighting World yeah, War Two. Yeah, I don't. Well, Jake, they had every single race represented in the English army in eighteen ninety two. I feel like people who Whenever say that kind World of stuff are just bored. They're just like, ah, eh, whatever. I'll I love say this causing and social strife. Okay, I think some people do. I love it. Anyways, uh, but so Baby Driver Dunkirk, was good. Baby Driver was amazing. I still want to see them War of the Planet of the Apes. Have you guys been looking at that? No, that looks terrible. Looking at that. It's going to be amazing. I, I love Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It looks terrible. I haven't seen it's any amazing. of these new Planet of the Apes. The last Planet of the Apes movie I saw was Tim Burton's. Tim Burton's that, with uh, the, Marky Mark. The number one, man. I like that movie's good. It is good, it's actually. A good it's movie. a lot of fun. I loved it as a kid because they have a scene where a monkey jumps backwards onto a horse. And it's like, it is pretty I, I remember seeing the making of and like watching it. Like, <laughs> Whoa, he did that. He did it. <laughs> um, did anyone watch Spider Man Homecoming, though? I want to get through some movies because there's a summer blockbuster. Pirate season. Man Homecoming? Pirate Man homecoming he no. uh he shoots webs on a building <laughs> <laughs> but he flies a giant okay, pirate i now know what you said but it legitimately sounded like you said pirate, pirate man. man the <laughs> the main number one blockbuster for the last couple weeks pirate man's homecoming <laughs> starring captain hook have you seen have you guys watched anything in at all this summer okay, no when but you, when you my... have kids go ahead <laughs> no go no ahead. no we, yeah, I know. When you have Vita, kids, Vita. we're 19 years old, guys. We're going to midnight yeah. showings on the Ray. Right. We're seeing 300 on the Ray. <laughs> <laughs> That's a modern movie that just came modern out film. Okay, a couple weeks ago. Great film. And then we watch My Chemical Romance. See, well, we, some of our friends are in the mountains. <laughs> I see I see one to two movies a year. And usually <laughs> those, those movies have the word Star Wars in them, in the title somewhere. And or the are released by Studio Ghibli. So those are the only and movies. Star Wars at the end, so it's weird films. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're parodies. 
this isn't Star Wars. This isn't Star Wars. <laughs> exactly. It's the main film. Um, before we get into some of that sweet news, we're going to take a little break. Boop. Hey everyone, venture into the pop culture cosmos today, where you'll hear our conversations on different topics within the world of movies, TV, video games, comic books, technology, board gaming, and more. You'll also get a taste of some of our other shows within the cosmos as well. So come on and join us each week as we delve into the pop culture cosmos. Welcome to the pop culture cosmos. And we are back. That's the Batman for the day. He's coming in just to, <laughs> just to say we're back. We're here for some sweet news, actually. There's been a lot of cool stuff that's happened since we last left, which is weird. Summer is normally like the drought, and there's no gaming news, no games that come out, nothing that happens. Um, but, yeah, there's uh, there's been some cool stuff. Overwatch this week is getting a character named Doomfist. Do you guys know about this? Mm, yep, I do. Have you guys been? Have you played Overwatch, either of you? Yeah, I own Overwatch. What about you, Jakey? Negative. No, it's it's a great yeah, it's, multiplayer shooter. It's an awesome game. Um, that is our friend, the airplane. He's that's our private jet. We're just about to get jetted <laughs> off we're somewhere, just guys. Getting Sorry, ready to go. Reggie. Oh, this is gonna be a short. <laughs> what are you episode. doing? You're late for the podcast. <laughs> Reginald. Reginald. Oh <laughs> uh, well, I am uh, the prisoner of uh, Sea of Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, Overwatch is awesome. Yeah, uh, I picked it up on a sale. I think over uh, December, December time. Yeah, got it for like thirty-five bucks. Super great purchase. Have you played since? Have you played with Orge Orge? I haven't played since they had that character. No, I haven't. I, the last character that they had was Sombra. Um, that's when I was playing pretty pretty uh, heavily. I yeah, I since then. I think it's a great game, but it is really easy to just like fall off the tracks with it. You know, um, it's a game that you have to have chops for, and you have to play pretty consistently to to be competitive. Yeah. In a game like that, if you're losing every time or you're not doing well, you're not going to have fun. Like a MOBA or Counter-Strike, any sort of competitive game. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a little bit better than like League of Legends or Dota where you're dumping 45 minutes into a match and then you lose. But I get what you're saying. But the time commitment's still there. Like the skill... It's, it's like 15 minutes though, which well, is nice. As far, you know, yeah. But yeah. The, the, I mean the time commitment to uh, to invest into being competitive yeah. or being good. Like like playing StarCraft two, if you you can I play that all the time, suck every yeah, day. Yeah, I know, <laughs> still you, gonna do you it. You could play StarCraft two in a twenty, you could play a twenty minute match, but in order to be good, like you have to really. Invest. Yeah, but I, I don't know if we're going esports here. Um, have you played any <laughs> esports games, Jakey? Not for a long time. You played Smash, right? I do play Smash. Smash that is an actually, yeah, actually, last weekend Evo happened. Mm -hmm. Evo, the big fighting game championship, and. Vegas, man. Vegas, baby. <laughs> um, Fight song. Fight song, babe. <laughs> Fight song, Brian, babe. who are your Smash characters? Uh, my Smash characters. Top two. Which, which game? Which game are we talking If we're talking about N64, I go Fox. If we're talking about Melee, I go Young Link. If we're talking about Brawl, I go... We're gonna Let's do each of them, and if we haven't played it, don't worry about it. Just skip it. If we're talking about Brawl, I... Oh, man. I don't know. I think I go Toon Link. No, no, I go Normal Link. And if we're talking about uh, Smash 4, which I played the least... Mm -hmm. I want to say, I, th I either went back to Fox or 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 uh, Martha Roy because I always kind of played yeah. them in Melee too. What about you, Jake? Top four. I've always played Fox. Okay, you're mm -hmm. a Fox. Man. And even Melee and sixty four. I've oh, he's because they ch they he, change him quite a bit. He's I know, heavier they, in Melee. Yeah, he is, but he's just he's probably my number one. And the then Haley Joel Osment of that. Game. And then I almost. I'm almost always play Samus. And that was Reggie leaving, guys. Sorry. That <laughs> so clear. He Jeez. left the second we heard, he all, heard all the jokes. Yeah. So. so I play Samus and Fox okay. every game. Yeah, Samus is awesome. Um, Are you a Kirby actually, player then? <laughs> the funny thing is I got pretty good with uh, Snake. Oh, Snake. I yeah. got good with Snake. Yeah, Snake's good. Snake. Um, <laughs> I like those the game like the the Ice Climbers and Snake. I like the characters, Mr. Game & Watch, that are like, kind of like a wild card yeah so when you get good with them it's good because people don't aren't used to yeah they can't they're, counter not, you they're well. not used to to who plays snake yeah, yeah. for sure who plays eric played uh game and watch he played kirby and, a lot um, too yeah, though man watch. and he got good with him and i was you like donna shoot i was like shoot i don't i don't i didn't like you know, yeah. you don't like going up against him. Yeah, exactly. And who are your four, Davey? Top eight. If you can, eight. if you know Here it by go. game, then do it. But otherwise, just give us who you know and love. 64, uh, my, my uh, major was Kirby. Yellow mm. Kirby, always. Kirby. Uh, followed closely by a Pikachu and Ness. Oh, to man, your point, worst to your point, Jake, playing a character that people don't really see a whole lot, Ness, 
you you could do some mad his deeps. bat his bat was great his bat was great but oh then yeah also his, his up. up b move where you could where you <sighs> shoot so yourself hard. into it that is I, so I just committed to hard. practicing it this goes back to playing games on hard mode. It's a lot of reward. Oh my God. There's no Dude, reward. There's reward in playing. How this. great was Break the Targets? That was awesome. In N64. I love break targets. And that was fun. Do they have that in, in. I think they have them in all the games. Four is the one I know the least, but I believe they have it in, in uh, May, or Brawl. Dude. And I know they have it in Melee. Mm-hmm. Break the Targets is. Yeah, Break the Targets is fun. I want to play. I'd still play that. I want to so play it again on Switch. I thought I was giving my characters, and then I was bogarted oh, by this sorry. target conversation. Who else? Who else name them? Nah, no, nah, that's all. You, oh my god, <laughs> I'm oh. just joking. Guys, my uh, Marth, Marth for uh, for the GameCube melee. Nice. And then uh, for Brawl, Roy was better though. Brawl, I, well, he was technically. I like Roy I just a lot preferred, more. I just preferred Marth because his blue hair. His blue hair, that's right. Uh, just like me. <laughs> uh, the next next Dave game. Dave has blue hair. I never actually. I never actually felt confident enough in the next game to have a main character. I did love playing uh, Olimar. Quite a bit. Olimar, yeah, Olimar is cool. And Samus, I played a lot in that game. I as like well. playing Pikachu. Pikachu is always fun. He's a good, salt. He's strong. Always, yeah. he's always strong. The yeah. biggest bummer for me is the fourth game. Like now, we were in college when the third game came out, so we would all play a lot more. But the fourth game came out like after college, when everybody was like, U game, "Yeah, the Wii right? U game." It is the best. I think the best game there is. It has it. It handles like melee, mm-hmm. but the problem is none of us played it together. So it kind of like yeah, we played it like no. one time, and it has an eight person battle. The three DS really came out on the three DS. Yeah, I mm-hmm. did, I just I can't play a lot of games on three DS. That's why I pretty much can do just RPGs and a couple like side scroller platformers. It's it's not an easy console to, or handheld to play with. I yeah. feel like the the thumbstick is really not like it's wheel unwieldy. You know, like. Um, War was awesome though. I remember we played it here one yeah, time. Yeah, we did it. Your wife so much was fun. here. Like there's like she six or it. seven people. It My was... wife's a pro gamer, man. <laughs> she's sorry, she's not here right now. She's esporting yeah, it up she's right now. She's training. That's how I learn all this stuff. My wife, pro gamer. Um, <laughs> she it... listens to this too. Yeah. She's a real big critic of the show. She, oh my goodness, she's writing the emails every week telling us all <laughs> the mistakes we're making. Counterpoint: My mm. wife hasn't played a video game in ten years. Wow. Your wife's a number one pro gamer, man. Leet Soar, four twenty, Hacksaw, Sniper, like headshotter. No scope. Uh, yeah, yeah, no scope. Op, op jump. <laughs> but no, Evo was out, and uh, I guess uh, Street Fighter Five was the headliner. Mm. Um, yeah. But like. Mm. Uh, Smash Brothers Melee and the fourth one were there, and mm-hmm. they were shown on Disney XD, yeah. I guess. Which is... In which we have a friend who's now work on, like, working on that show. What? Yeah. Who that be? I don't want to. I don't want to okay. them. Don't out him. Don't but out yeah, him. one of our one of our buddies just is now going to be working as a producer on that show. Oh, Boyly, I want to know who this is Dude, after the break. Is he a buddy of mine too? You might know him. You're an acquaintance of his. I I well, think I know who he is, but I um, hate him. But yeah, so Evo was this weekend, which was it's super my son, sweet. Elijah. I, <laughs> I got to uh, Vita Vita. <laughs> I got to see like the last match, and it's it's always amazing to see those people play. Mm. It never makes me want to play a fighting game because there's just so much work. I can't, <laughs> I can't, just... I can't play, play fighting games, but I do enjoy watching. Yeah, like, they're the cool. Finals. I love I love fighting I love games. watching the finals. I just can't play them. They're not fun if you well, suck. I, they're, <laughs> yeah. I'm just not. Yeah, I'm and just you, gonna get beat. Yeah, and you have to spend a lot of time. Like mm-hmm. Starcraft is fun even if I suck because I get to make a bunch of armies and move them around the map i can't enjoy a game where it's like oh hey you didn't play this for three thousand hours with one character and just practice one move i don't like yeah. games where i lose <laughs> so See? i play a game where i always win it's called the always win game <laughs> even it's the ai life. die <laughs> so life you always win man not to say that dark souls isn't in that because i i win dark souls but i win dark souls on the reg if i'm do was win, win. but it's just like street fighter 4 or whatever and I'm just going to get beat by these, by these, yeah. by these 12 year olds, man. You guys think you're so smart being 12 years old. Did you guys old. ever play Primal Rage on the Super Nintendo? I tried it once, oh, but my awesome. Gosh, my parents won't let me play it, okay? Primal they had Rage. a character who <laughs> urinated. Clay Fighters. Did, did Clay urinate. Fighters was tight. Yeah, Clay, Clay Fighter, Fighters. That's my jam. That was a great game. Have you guys tried playing Clay Fighter recently? Yeah, at your house. It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is unplayable. Yeah, it does not, uh, does not hold up it very well. Not. But actually, this I feel like this week, 
there was tons of multiplayer news. There's a little bit of single player stuff to talk about, but uh, mm. beyond that, there's also Diablo three. I think it was, was actually last week, but we didn't talk about it. The Necromancer class yeah, dropped. Yeah, finally. Did you guys get to play Diablo three? Yeah. I know you've never heard of it, Dave, and you did not work at Blizzard for the time that it <laughs> yeah, came while out. While it was released, I forgot. And that. you don't have a yeah. copy of it at all, right? No, I do you not. You don't have the collector's no. edition. I actually don't anymore. I sold that. Oh my god, you were an idiot. Blizzard made a That was worth such a cool campus. Thousand dollars. Yeah. I've actually never been to that sweet campus. I wanted to it's go. It's awesome. It's, yeah, it's it's really cool. Man, inspiring. today must be they plenty. Got a, <laughs> they, they got a gym. They got a library. You can rent. Um, You're games. telling me these things, but I I have used them all. I'm looking right. at He's you. Never even I'm seen looking him. at you, but I'm talking. Dave has never even heard of my the gym. My eyes are on your with your eyes, but my voice is as for always, Brian. I have been be. studying that gym for yeah, my the, life. The mouth okay? of Brian. Like, <laughs> From the Sauron. mouth of Brian. I'm not telling you. I'm telling our listeners. Okay, so Real quick though, let's, to the planes. Oh, sorry. Oh, go I, I, just live in, I just live in a flight path. He so lives literally. We're under the airport right now. <laughs> I live, we're in a bunker. I live in a control tower. <laughs> we're Major doing this. Tom. Major Tom and I. We have I. a buddy who works at a control tower. We can find anywhere better to record. <laughs> so we thought, let's do it there. Um, no. So did you guys get to play Diablo three base game when it came out, or? Yeah. Uh, what is the what's the expansion called? Uh, Lord of Destruction or no? That's no, that's probably, two. That's two. Um, I can't remember this one, but it Shoot. came out with like the it's like Holy Knight. Yeah, yeah, that was like yeah. your. Okay, well, anyways, that expansion came out. I've only played it um like a couple times. I had it on Xbox One. A couple times or a couple playthroughs. A couple times. Period. Beat- I'm still in the uh, <laughs> beating it I don't six or think, seven times. I don't even think I've beaten the first boss in that game. I really enjoyed it, but I've yeah, only played single game. player. So yeah, I I, play, I beat it through a couple times with. Uh, with the voodoo guy, obviously. Voodoo. Oh my goodness, this guy's a saint worshiper. Got the power of the voodoo. Who, <laughs> Who do you do? Yes. Got the power of the babe. <laughs> no, that, that's an awesome game. Uh, I didn't... Labyrinth. I wasn't... Oh yeah. I wasn't a massive D- uh, Diablo 2 <laughs> fan, nice. though. But people who, who oh, I were, love Diablo too. Oh, I love Diablo too as well. I like the skill tree. That's something I oh kind of gosh, I am hated the skill tree. Bummed out that so they took out. So counterintuitive. No, like it's 40, awesome. It just encouraged people to put forty points in one spell. It was like so dumb. Yeah, that's what you do when you're smart. Okay, <laughs> SMRT. So boring. Smart. Anyways, all I was gonna say is the people who loved Diablo two, they didn't love Diablo three as much. Yeah. And I I love I I really enjoy both games. Uh I think every game that comes out of Blizzard is really fun, really It's really dumb, yeah, really I know. Dumb, you really, need to yeah. stop being so anti Blizzard <laughs> on this podcast. Yeah, but, you uh, hate them, man. No, Diablo 3 is an awesome yeah. game and I probably will pick up that expansion because I love the Necromancer from It's Diablo actually 2. it's like 10 bucks I think or oh. 15. So it's not an expansion, it's just the character. Oh, that's awesome. But they've been doing free updates for like a long time, so I mm-hmm. feel like yeah, it's fine they charge that. They don't really charge for anything but Yeah. The one thing. Um a lot of work goes into creating a new class, especially since there's PvP in that game. Yeah, it takes balancing like issues. ten minutes, man. Yeah, so. ten minutes. You draw the sprite, you know, put it in there, and it's you in. have a kid draw too, like yeah, a baby. A like you don't pay him. One money. of the developer's sons <laughs> just gets in there, Vita Vita. it out. Vita Vita. Vita 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 Vita, Vita 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 Vita. Um, have you guys heard of a game called Player Unknown Battlegrounds? I yeah. heard of a movie called Player One coming out. It is Ready Player <laughs> One. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> We love you, and we love you, and so we love Sound you. Sound like feel good right. from uh, gorillas. <laughs> uh, no, but I am not a PC master race person, so I don't. I haven't got a chance to play it, but I hear about it and watch that game all the time. Have you guys? It's an Arma mod. Which was a mod to begin with, wasn't it? Oh, I love it. Wasn't Arma a mod initially? Or no, Arma, Arma was a game. No, Arma's the, the main game, and then they have the mods. H1Z1, yeah, Daisy. Yeah, yeah, those are all Arma mods. Um, but it, it's cool. It's like a hundred. You can do it like uh, teams of four, teams of two, or one like one against everyone. Mm-hmm. And they drop. You're like starting a plane, and you parachute out anywhere you want. There's a bunch of like weapons hidden around the map. And we oh, may have yeah. already talked about this once. but I don't think so. It's a game. Jake, it's have we? Coming out to Xbox One, <laughs> I know I mentioned that during E3. That's the game like that oh, Xbox okay. announced that I'm like, whoa, okay, this is something I actually really want to try. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's it's so cool. I hear stories about people who are like, you could shoot, you know, I mean, this is in a lot of other games, but you shoot like, you know, tires off of vehicles or whatever. And nice. like, if there's like a video of someone who rides a motorcycle up a ramp into a window of a house, gets out, shoots the guy in the top room like the top floor of the house with a shotgun Whoa. goes down the stairs kills another dude. dude it's like the things that people do in that game are 
I, I it's Die like, Hard it's, Four. Yeah, it's Die Hard Four. It's <laughs> I that is a game I've been waiting for for a long time, and they keep updating it. That's why I wanted to bring it up. It's just it's you know we can talk about it every week if we want to because there's new stuff they do every time. Yeah, uh, that game has has pretty crazy uh, bullet physics too, doesn't it? Yeah, it has crazy drop offs. Like bullet drop. Um, yeah, it, it that's awesome. Like it's yeah. cool that they did that. It's it's not bad for a thirty dollar game for like not a full sixty dollar price it's it's doing crazy i think yeah. last time i checked it sold four million copies wow. within the first three months and how many is it on ps4 oh it's just pc just right? pc just right PC. now PC. and then it's going to move on to xbox one at the end of this year mm. and ps4 next year cool. but that those numbers make me want to talk about something else that we brought into last week davy stock corner oh my goodness davy stock corner my kitten just bring came up in. those sweet stock news that we've all been about and we love cats this mm. is a cat friendly podcast yeah, let me just let me just hook up the old the old stocks real quick yeah so nintendy nintendy had a had a good day yesterday which is crazy uh despite Explain despite <laughs> i think they were up about four percent despite the um the drop of that terrible app that got really really bad um press from uh I think Forbes said yeah. something negative about it. It's it, real quick, Jake. Do you know what we're talking about right now? Which, Have you heard about this? Which app? It's the so, Nintendo like social app to yeah. allow you to talk with friends on. And yeah, yeah, we so talked. Yeah, yeah. The Nintendo Switch doesn't have uh, built-in capabilities to handle like online servers where you can talk to people and make parties. So they created a third-party app on your phone. However, that app is terrible and mm. requires you to own a dongle that plugs into your Switch and into your phone <laughs> so you have to keep your switch and your phone next to you at all times to be able to use. as i always do it's, it, pretty much all they're saying is like everyone like don't use this use discord like this is yeah, stupid yeah. so it's it's funny um that's being released because splatoon 2 is coming out tomorrow mm -hmm. and splatoon 2 is a game that i normally would have no interest in it's a third party shooter where you don't even you don't even really like Kill third other people? Shooter, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Third, yeah. third party. It's a tagging third person. game. It, um, it, it propagates graffiti amongst the youth. Yeah. It's it. It's weird. It's, it's yeah. That's that kind a of. Joke. No, it's not. That's a serious <laughs> thing. Okay, guys. It's all about tagging and graffiti. It, it's a big game though. It's a big esports game, isn't it? Uh, they're trying to make it that, and it's it's really popular because it's yeah. got a lot of style and looks a lot of fun. Um, it's one of those games where I would have totally written off. However, the Switch has so few games right now, yeah. and it's my console of choice that. It comes out tomorrow. There is a very real possibility I'm going to buy it and oh. then maybe resell it in the future because, <laughs> like, I just want to play something. That game's only fun if you play it multiplayer, <clears throat> though. Uh, I've heard the single player is pretty fun, so I might do that because there's a lot of times where I'm not around Wi-Fi yeah. when I'm using my Switch, so the multiplayer isn't, like, a big draw for me. But back to the app, though, um, and back to the stocks. Yeah. yeah, the app dropped. It sucked. Everyone hated it, which we all pretty New much expected, yeah. Would. I think there are, there are some cool things about the app. It keeps some interesting data points, doesn't it, about uh, your match history yeah, and it does like a that. lot of cool it's things. Not worth it. Yeah, it does <laughs> a lot of cool things that you know should just be built in the game, but yeah. whatever they didn't want to do that. Yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah, it keeps like uh, match history, KD, all the stuff that you can find in like a Call of Duty game in mm -hmm. the, just the game itself. Yeah. But it's oh. yeah for nintendo this is all new okay using the internet is a brand new <laughs> the internet's brand new if guys, only they okay? had some sort of formula to follow I we're know. talking to you guys through cassette tapes right now you <laughs> that, right? the internet is brand spanking new yeah i mean other than that though not, not much else to report in the stock world it was interesting though that on the day that they had such terrible news their stocks were up more than they've been up in quite a while. I think that could be because of Splatoon 2. I, that game is supposed to... It sold, I want to say, 3 or 4 million copies on the Wii U, which mm -hmm. only sold 13 million consoles together. Mm -hmm. So 4 million out of 13 million is, is pretty good numbers. I, I think tomorrow is the day to watch then because yeah. the game comes out tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. but the, all of this stuff is in preparation for that. So we'll see. If it dips tomorrow, that will be, be the opposite I mean, news. It just shows, though, that the stock market's so volatile. Yeah, definitely. Like, we talked about this last week, but yeah. the Pokemon Go incident, mm -hmm. like, things like that just prove that a lot of people in the stock market actually don't know anything about these companies, but they're yeah. just willing to invest because they've seen an advertisement or mm -hmm. because they think, oh, Nintendo has the Umbrella Corp. Yeah. This actually brings me to my greatest moral and ethical conundrum of all times. My, wow. yeah, Should this we be is, talking about this on a podcast? This, guys, I, you're my friends, you're my lovers, you're my listeners. <laughs> I, I love you as brothers oh, and, love, and love. bed buddies <laughs> and all the things that you love a person Pillow as. Pillow talk. 
Um, Digis are on sale right now. Digis, as you guys know, are digital titles. Um, they're on the PlayStation 4 and Vita family. These games are Cosmic Star Heroine, which is a, uh, a PS4 Vita RPG in the vein of Chrono Trigger and several other greats of its name. Um, they're on sale this week. It and Salt and Sanctuary, which you guys have both mentioned that you love. <laughs> Uh, I and mentioned that I love. I'm under this conundrum. I'm a, a switchy boy. We all know this, okay? Switchman. I'm I'm, I'm a you switchman. Ha- you have a Vita. You like the Vita. I like the Vita, but it's dying. Vita, Vita. The Vita is dying, my friend. Should uh, I let it go to rest and not buy these games? When these games are actually announced for Switch, mm-hmm. both of the developers are looking into them, and I'm probably going to double dip if I buy them right now. I'm going to double dip and get them games and play them for a little bit on my Vita and then play them hardcore on my Switch. Or should I wait? This this reminds this me. This is crazy. This reminds this is me the hardest thing ever. Of the, of the parable, not the parable, but the mantra, a fool and his money are soon parted. That's, this is what's coming to my I, mind. I don't, I don't see how that's relevant someone, at all. That's probably the stupidest the thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of anything <laughs> stupider than this thing he just said. Uh, no, somebody should buy their games <laughs> 10 times. <laughs> no, but I, I honestly, I'm, this is literally something that I've been like fighting about the last couple days is they're both on sale. I kind of want to play them because there's nothing on the Switch. But I don't know if it's going to make me pick up my Vita and actually play it and not take Mario Kart 8, which I am just kind of playing because I like playing Switch more. Do you have any backlog games on your 3DS? I've, I don't have any. I Just as You've you guys know, I don't. Every game I don't play. <laughs> I'm try- have I have a backlog. I am trying to uh, save you money, my friend. Yeah. I don't have a single backlog game. I only own, as you guys know, I'm very thrifty. I don't own any new games. I don't own Prey. I don't own uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't own Mario Kart 8. I didn't buy Goner. Okay, I didn't buy Mighty Gun Vulpers. That's, that's too many games. I yeah. definitely don't go, have games going back into the PS3 and PS2 era of backlog. Go beat Mass Effect 3. That your I will your never, character, your little character is now do there. it. Dave. I will never Dave, did, do it. Oh my gosh. Yes, Jake. Did, did you please speak? <laughs> did Don't you do it. buy and slash beat Fez yet? No, no. Do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was, my understanding at the one end, finger pointing, I, three at the fingers end of our back. last podcast. <laughs> That you were you going to solemnly buy blood and swore. or slash B. Yeah, I didn't see that. You solemnly that. <laughs> blood swore. You took an I'm oath interested. upon your children. We didn't that. talk about it, but you were writing me a note during mm. the podcast. You said and I like mm. sliding it over. I love and I, you, right. and this is and what I'm like, going to do for you. Do you. Will you be yes box? Yeah. No. Yeah. And you promised us your children based on the fact that you didn't I, give us I know this. I did that. Yes. I, do I regret that? I'm going to have to tell Aaron, man. I'm going to tell Aaron, man. Uh, I I haven't beaten Fez yet, but I uh, <laughs> or haven't played Fez yet, guys. <laughs> I want to get to the, so that you know this it is. is the truth. Both statements are true. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't played that. That it's I only bring it up again, and I'll probably keep bringing it up because it's one of my favorite games in a long time. Fez is pretty sweet. I've beaten it several times. The soundtrack is awesome. It's mm. a sweet butthole. Everyone loves it. Everyone. Super pretty. Ooh. It's sweet. <laughs> Everyone knows a sweet have butthole. to edit that. No, that's Brian. a kid-friendly term. Everyone he knows that. He has a type. He's Everybody a type. knows that as the friendly term, okay? That's the family. This is a kid-friendly. Right, this so is the kid-friendly podcast, okay? I want leaving... you kids to come on here and listen to us. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're leaving our friend hanging in his moral dilemma. <laughs> yeah. So what is the dilemma one more time? You, I you don't know waste what to your do. Money, yeah, I want to waste more you money. You want to throw money in the trash I've can. been trying to do that for hours now. Now, yeah, man. but you just can't, I can't choose the trash lazy can. To get up to go to the trash can. Well, there's two trash the, cans, and right. I don't know which ones to is throw it in. Do I throw it in the switch? Uh-huh. Do I throw it in the Vita? Now, this wow. is honestly though, this is something like I've been thinking about the, for the last few days. I want to play Cosmic Star Heroin. It's a game that's very similar to Chrono Trigger, which heroin. I said earlier. Heroin. It's you know you do heroin it's from a most drug of the simulator game. from, from <laughs> South Park. <laughs> <laughs> from, it's a South Park Studios game. No, but it looks amazing and fun, but. I kind of want to leave my Vita to die in the trash. Vita. I want to okay. sell it and get rid of it, and I don't want to play Undertale on it. False. In okay. August 15th, false. Because that okay. game looks amazing. False. Actually, false. How much, is that this last game false. That, how much is this game that you want to play? They're on sale. They're both $10 when they're normally $20 okay. for Soul right. and Sanctuary and okay, $15 so now, for Cosmic Star Heroine. And if you have PS Plus, they're actually cheaper. Okay, so I think you just <laughs> answered your question right there. Just go buy it. If oh it's going to bring God. you joy and entertain you, 
Why does it matter what system? Do you it's know on? what joy is? Why? Okay, I just don't understand this this concept of letting a system die. Like, is that a, a the moral listeners will know? Please, listeners, uh, respond in chat right now. <laughs> Give us all your chats and your love on chat. Um, no, I, I, it's just something I've been thinking about. I don't yeah. know what to do because I might buy Splatoon two tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Which is that fifty or sixty? It's sixty. But if you have Amazon Prime, it's a twenty percent discount on every game sold. Okay, wow. and then when you sell it back, you probably sell it for forty five dollars. So you're actually only losing three dollars on the whole entire expenditure. Okay, have you ever heard of that? Have you heard of buy sell loss ratios? I want to. I want to know. Do you what know your, anything about this? I want to know what your like recurring monthly bills are for these various subscriptions that you have. Probably like ten bucks <laughs> total with everything. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Wait. Are, is that game the heroin game going to come out on Switch? Uh, they both both of the developers have heroin game have tweeted, which is a very serious thing. They have yeah. tweeted that they're looking at a switch development for both of them because the switch is the new Vita, man. It's mm-hmm. gonna get there. It's gonna make all the bronies happy. That's bros who like uh, My Little Pony. <laughs> We're are, are all any of us bronies. We are bronies. Okay, oh. I didn't know you guys. I didn't know if I should tell you guys, but I'm Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Rainbow. It's supposed to be a My Little Ponies movie. Come in. Oh, I can't that's wait. In the works. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh, I say, I say, just get the GD game. That's what I say. And then I'll talk about it next week and talk about how Dave ruined my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next week is going to be a total. I'll gladly indemnify you for that ten dollars oh, if goodness. I ruin your life. Oh my goodness! Right, what, what's up you won't indemnify me. What's been going on? Actually, D twenty three happened last weekend. Mm. You guys uh, know what D twenty three is? Yeah, it's the Disney Expo. Yeah, and do you know what Disney's part owners of that's also a video game marvel dumb idiot no you <laughs> dumb trash idiot you dumb <laughs> dumpster dummy star, <laughs> star wars yeah oh my god i'm gonna smack you so far right. across this table right, enlighten us uh dc kingdom hearts DC. 3 the oh, number one Bobby. game they're doing it guys they're bringing it back eight. it's only been 10 years since they announced it oh my actually gosh. we're only at uh eight years they should so have called it gummy ship three uh speaking of gummy ship yeah. they did for all the fans requests they were begging they were oh, saying man. bring me that sweet gummy ship you've left it out of too many games uh-huh. they said kingdom hearts 3 the gummy ship is coming back everybody was standing yeah. they were crying wow. they were clapping i was there Dave, i was amongst you, them you were loving that gummy yeah. ship in kingdom hearts 1 tell every tell yeah, the yeah. listeners yeah tell the listenership uh-huh. how much you love the gummy ship uh-huh. And don't lie. Uh-huh. How much you love the gummy ship and how oh, much you're talking your so life. much right now. Can I can I say something? <laughs> no. You're asking like 20 <laughs> questions and then I can't answer. Okay, any well of them. he can answer now. I'll allow him to. Okay. All right. So I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, the gummy ship is probably one of the greatest sequences in any game in the last. That's true. In the last 25 years plus. Correct. Uh, probably predates the gaming history. Yeah, I, I would that's say. Correct. Actually. So so actually to be legitimate here. I hated the gummy ship so much that I actually stopped playing Kingdom Hearts 1 as a kid just because I, I couldn't stand it. I literally threw up every time I saw it. I need it. some backup right now. Jake, I want you to give your opinion on the gummy ship Kingdom Hearts 1. I know you played that bad boy. I um, know you did. I'm trying to remember. What you I do it. remember is <laughs> that I did not like it. Oh, my The gummy goodness. ship is terrible. Dick, um, I need you. It doesn't even make sense. I think I pushed through it. I know no. I did because Kingdom it's, Hearts One is the only one I beat. Yeah, you, you, but it's not like push through it. Birth. You, that was did the best thing you've ever done. It's like passing it. a kidney. It's stone. like passing a stone. Yeah. That's all this stuff is false, guys. Sorry, was, <laughs> listenership. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try and remember right now. Give me a sec. Every time you address the listenership, you're just talking to us. Yeah, actually, that is <laughs> the two listeners are actually on this podcast now. <laughs> we, we've lost all the listeners, guys. We can't do it anymore. Uh, okay, uh, wait, so so the gummy so ship was confirmed for gummy Kingdom ship's Hearts confirmed, 3. and they did it, guys. They got Toy Story, and not only what, did what? they get Toy Story, but unlike every Kingdom Hearts where you just relive the movie, they told Tetsuya Nomura. They said, "Hey, bro." I want you to write a totally rad story that no one's ever seen or heard of or ever heard or seen, and they didn't ever know what's going on. So brand new story set in Toy Story universe, Buzz and Woody, Mm. pause, Buzz and Woody are teammates on this thing, bros. This is, (laughs) 
Wow. This is going to happen. This is happening, guys. Mm. Uh, I can't even... When they said 2018, I tears started pouring out of every <laughs> orifice in my body. I, I, can't, just, <laughs> I, I can't say that I'm even remotely excited for this at all. You love all. it. I, you are going to buy 10 copies at $60 each. You're giving like, them $600, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> all these things you're saying are just things like, okay, yeah, they should have done that a million years no, ago. Yeah, false. No, false. Finally, finally. They did. Finally. Yeah. They did stuff in it's their It's interesting time. to me that you and Donna seem so stoked on this. Yeah. Well, once you know the I light just... of your own heart, <laughs> then you all... <laughs> Donna could tell That's you the story better than me because he's, yeah, he's played all of them. I've actually only played a handful of them. They're pretty, they are fun though. To be honest, they're like really fun games. I love the Disney universes, so they're, they're great. I, I am excited for it. I don't think it's going to come out next year. It's supposed, to... I think it was announced in 2013. So I don't think it's coming out anytime soon, but or no, it's no, probably safe. Two thousand nine. Somebody said it was eight years since they announced it, but yeah, it's it's, it's a long time. It is like one of those things where I will be excited a month before it comes out, mm-hmm. but before then, I'm just gonna take it. Like Final Fantasy fifteen, yeah, a game that you guys have never heard about at all on this podcast. You, <laughs> so we need Brian, to talk about it. Do you guys remember when uh, when me and Eric were doing music uh, back in the day? Yeah. And we played one of our songs to the Birth by Sleep video. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, never heard of it. Rain Mode, was it? Yeah, Possibly? Ra- uh, that was, yeah. That was probably one of it. my favorite Kingdom Hearts related memories. It uh, was only cool because... You can find that video on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Call it type Rain Mode slash Kingdom Hearts. I don't think you're going to find it. Uh, you should <laughs> find it. You guys should have done that. That would have been cool. And made a million. And made a copyright infringement. Yeah. Uh, nobody would have copyrighted that, okay? <laughs> nobody owns the copyright to Kingdom Hearts. Everyone knows That's that. That's true. You're right. Um, but yeah, honestly, this week, that, that was about it. There was some uh, some cool Switch games announced. Retro City, Rampage DX. Uh, the Cosmic Star Heroine and Salt and Sanctuary have been teased for a while. The Ukulele game, which is Dave's favorite game of mm-hmm. 2017. He played yeah. it 100 times, bought four copies. <laughs> did, you, um, did you play it at all? No, I, I played it because it's amazing. I was embarrassed that it was released. Really? And yeah. he was lying why, about why that. Why so? I it know just, you loved banjo. I did love banjo, and, and I and I he really was willing banjo. to be grounded. <laughs> he would do That's anything for banjo. <laughs> That's a great story. Tell our listeners about that <laughs> no, stupid I'm just, I'm a little ass. Because uh, I was, I, can I tell the story first? No, don't don't okay. tell it. Don't. Right, okay, tell it. Please tell your story. Sorry, Mr. Schaefer. Okay, please tell your story. You beat him. Okay, so it was the summer when my mom was extremely pregnant with my youngest brother and she was very <laughs> she, was, she was really really sick and me and my middle brother we were forced to play banjo kazooie not all forced day. no one forces game. you to play an amazing well game. okay i mean all we could do all we could do any day was play banjo kazooie we played banjo kazooie all day we ordered domino's pizza and then watch bugs life until bedtime Duh. that was what we did every single day that sounds like, um, like an amazing that's game. like the best summer <laughs> of my life so good was, you were talking that sounds so good it was that's really that we great. poor listeners <laughs> that reminds me of like life. when i would go to my neighbor's house and play smash yeah you know break the targets yeah, and then the order targets. Pizza Hut. And we, and we, would just we didn't play. even get Domino's, okay? We all got day, Pizza Hut, a step yeah. lower. And then we'd go watch Futurama, and that's all I did for the whole summer. Oh, that man. sounds fun, too. Sorry you've been living and such then... a poor, tragic life, Dave. Yeah, okay, continue I'm, your I'm story. A Caesar's family okay, now. so okay. you played this amazing game. Yeah, I played this game, and me and my brother, we played it every day, and we got really far. We're going for 100% completion. Nice. nice. And we got stuck on that little click clock wood. You get those Chivos real quick? I want to ask if you got those Chivos. Uh, for this N64, there was achievements. No, there was yeah, no did you get a platinum Back trophy? Games were games. I, there were no achievements. I got achievements. For I got achievements too. My parents gave me medals. For <laughs> me. I'm sure they did. <laughs> they okay. Made. Okay. okay so you get to yeah. get stuck. Yeah, TikTok right, woods. So we got click clock woods. Doesn't matter. TikTok is not it's a all thing. the same. A TikTok clock. is the name of the character in the game. I don't remember which mm-hmm. one, but I'm sure. Vita Vita. <laughs> I'm not so sure that okay. That's it, guys. All right. Catch me. All right. So, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Dead time. Dead time. Sorry. Yeah. So we we got stuck there, and me and my brother were stumped. We couldn't think of anything to do, and so I told my brother, "Hey, I bet you a player's guide would tell us how to beat this this sequence." And it was the sequence where you have to plant the eggs in the hole in um, winter or spring, because it's the it's the the level that changed seasons. Yeah. And uh, then in the summertime or whatever, it would grow. The plant would grow, and you could get the jiggy at the top. So anyways, we didn't know what to do. We were stuck. 
And so um, we convinced my grandpa to take us to the Cerritos Mall to go to a game store. I think it was like Your electronic. Grandpa was what, a sucker, what man. What were those game stores? <laughs> electronic back? boutiques? Yeah, electronic boutique, yes. Before became we GameStop. go much further, convinced, all I would have to do is just ask. Who would you ask? <laughs> like my Some random person. He would, dad he would find someone okay. out on the streets. Okay, <laughs> all right. There's something, there's something that, that I'm not making clear. So my mom was very pregnant. Yeah. Very sick. The nice. only thing that kept me and my brothers out of her hair was playing this game. She knew that we couldn't beat this section, and she loved it because I, it kept us busy I literally love, all day. I love how See, you, how your mom like watching. figured out this game so much. Like, did yes. she watch you guys play it? Oh no, it made, it made her sick to her stomach because of all the characters, all the way that they talked. Oh. Uh, when, when you're in the second level, that that pirate guy who talks oh, with yeah. burps, blarb or yeah. blubber, yeah. she she like <laughs> the literally way. leave the room when that guy started talking. Actually, made oh my, my mom gosh. sick too. <laughs> it's, that game. it's awesome. Uh, it's so, not gross. So, it's anyways, awesome. so she knew she knew that we couldn't beat it and she was very excited that we couldn't because it was keeping us busy and so we had asked her to your point jake we had asked her to get a player's guide and she said no way okay. nintendo power player's guide yeah because yeah, nice. just your word choice was like there's something i, did, I there's missed something i missed more. a step exactly there's so something more said. here and you know what i found it i'm glad that you asked i'm glad you're inquisitive <laughs> and what i found mind. is that your mom wanted to hinder you yeah yes. she said with okay. a devilish so grin so we no. get well wait a sec so so we go to the store with my grandpa who um who doesn't know anything about the rule doesn't know what's going on <laughs> nice. and so so what you do me and my brother make a beeline to the the little rack that had all the players guide magazines back <laughs> yeah. in the day made it made a beeline for that found the secret we were like, okay, Grandpa, we're ready to go home. And he was like, what are you, what? We just got to the mall. Why, what are we doing? And we we're like, oh, we, we need to go home now. We need to go home now. We need to go home now. So, they probably have to pee, right? Uh, so he drove months. us home, and we were gone in like a round trip. Like in 60 seconds. Like we're go- yeah, gone in 60 like, seconds like with hour. Nicholas. Yeah, we were gone for like 20 minutes the whole time, and it's like a 10-minute drive. So my mom was like, what is going on? Why, why is this? And she watches us play Banjo-Kazooie. Me and my brother were dumb, and we literally go directly to the place that we were stuck. <laughs> nice. Instantly solve the problem that my mom knew about, and we're like, "Oh, mom, we figured it out. We did it!" And she's like, "Where did you go with your grandpa at the mall?" And then she got it out of my little brother, and then she confirmed it with my grandpa. What a rat! What and, a rat uh, your brother is. Yep, and yeah. we. <laughs> And we got majorly grounded. We got to get that guy on this podcast right now <laughs> and tell him, hey, you're a rat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so so yeah, we got grounded for looking at a player's guide. And that's the story. Oh, well, that's a story that I love to hear. Um, mm. We need to take a quick, quick breaky poo, and we'll be back soon. If you're tired of sifting through flea markets for rare and unique games, we can help. Retro City Games in Henderson, Nevada, only five minutes from the Las Vegas Strip, has all your favorite gaming staples, classics, and a wide selection of rare games with new stuff always appearing on our shelves. Come in and chat with Nicole or Doug about your love of games and watch as they help you complete your collection or find your childhood favorite. And don't forget, Retro City Games loves trade-ins. So if you have any Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Xbox, PlayStation, or even PC games, come in and visit Retro City Games today. Welcome to the new metropolis of gaming, Retro City Games. After that long break, we finally returned from a long journey that we never thought we'd experience. But who knew that you'd experience such a journey on a night like this? The wandering, weary travelers didn't even know what was going on outside. Is this a Carl's Jr. commercial? It actually is. We, we like to celebrate the Mick Rib at Carl's Jr. The Mick Rib at Carl's Jr. You're like the guy who's like, it doesn't get all over the place. It doesn't put on your face. They don't do that anymore. But They don't do that because it doesn't exist anymore. Um, and it, right. we, we miss those fast food people. We know this is the future where all fast food is banished. Fast foodsmen. We are fast foodsmans. Um, actually, I want to talk about, for a, a shortened topic, because we got to get to Sleepy Poo, it's like 9 o'clock here, guys. We need to get into our beds and mm. snuggle up one bed mm. for all three of us. Yeah. This podcast it's, happens in a bed, too. Listening to Sheena Easton. This is called Bedding with Buddies. Bedding <laughs> with Buds. Or Bedding with Sisters, BS. could be that. Beds with si- You forgot the W. No, we don't need that. All right, what's the sequence? Um, anyways, I want to talk about when you have that favorite character 
and their cameoing o cameoing o cameo it's cameoing 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 oh wow let's get to this huh um, yeah. they're <laughs> dragging this out cameoing in a game like recently street fighter 5 announced that they're getting a character from uh final fight do you guys remember that game yeah. an old super nintendo game called geese or no they're getting abigail and tekken 7 is getting a fighting character named geese howard from final fight Anyways, uh, it's cool. They're both S and K characters that are finally getting moved over to other games. I was wondering if no, there's any S&K games. S and K stands for suck and kiss characters. Oh my goodness! Well, you forgot Jay, the M. That it. I can't. <laughs> I have to edit this whole podcast out now to <laughs> uh, so to get rid of this stuff. What's the um, no? I just want to talk about like what are some of your favorite games that have characters from other series or other publishers or other developers in them? Like we mentioned earlier, Smash Brothers with Metal Gear Solid's yeah. Sneak. Is there any other game that you guys can think of that's touched you? That uh, hmm. that has a character that you remember like, hey, that's cool that this character's in this game. Uh, I think if I were a little kid, I would have liked the fact that Sonic was in um, Brawl. Brawl. That was cool. But um, as that an adult, rad. I really didn't care. Oh, that's because you're dumb and you've forgotten all your childhood dreams. Quick side note, when I was a little little kid, I thought uh, Smash Bros. was illegal because I played like a Japanese version of it. It's illegal. And I thought it was a bootleg. <laughs> everybody <laughs> everybody knows Smash real. Bros. is actually an illegal game. <laughs> I thought it We're was like some pawn. Alt future. Can you just go to a game store? Fake game news. Store I, see? No, this I, is I fake went, news, I, guys. I went to this really cool old game shop in Fountain Valley. Uh, that, Ye old game shop that, that released uh, <laughs> Japanese versions of games before they were released in America, um, and it, I got to play Smash Bros. like six months before it was released in like a U.S. Oh, wow. version. So at the time, I was like, "This game is illegal" because it was all in Japanese, and it was amazing of me. That is sweet and amazing. Any game that touched you, Jake? That you saw that character and you're like, "Hey, I love that guy. I want to be that guy. I want to be that guy. I want to wear I mean, him." It was cool seeing. Final Fantasy characters in in Kingdom Hearts. That is so that was yeah. kind of tight. I mean, that's pretty sweet. So so that, that was just it was such a I was like not expecting mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw that game. That was that was like a really that was, cool. That moment. was cool, but I mean, anything recently that you've seen? Not, nothing coming to mind. Do yeah. you, are you asking with something that's coming to your mind? No, I mean, there's just some stuff like Shovel Knight's rumored for the next Smash Brothers game. Like That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. there's uh, there's just a lot of like really cool, like Shovel Knight's in Ukulele, everybody's favorite game here that we just discussed. Is he really? Yeah, he's in the game, because uh, they're just like, all the indie developers are just like, yeah, they, they put like my each character. Other. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's <laughs> not like you don't have to go through like that's a plug. Lawyers and lawyerings. We you ne- don't like those we things. We never got to why you didn't like ukulele. Oh, my gosh. We will never actually talk about that because it's a falsehood. Yeah. That he didn't. We can save it because I'm interested because it. it looked – I haven't played it, but it looked cool to me. So we can save that. Okay. We'll we'll shuffle it for right now. And by okay. shuffle, I mean okay. shuffle it into one It'll minute come up now. again. You mean but shuffle But we actually have – Shovel it? We did it, guys. Shovel it. Superbscast at gmail.com got its first email. Superbscast at gmail.com. Mm. And I want to read that email right here, it. right now. I'm it's kind from of surprised we got an email. Andy. Andy from Google wrote, wow. um, Hi, Brink. I'm so glad you decided to try our Gmail. Here are a few tips to get you up and running fast. And Andy, uh. man, he's writing stuff. Let's see if we can answer this. Gmail on the go. With Gmail for Android and iOS, you get real-time notifications so you don't miss important emails, That's guys. So That's informative true. and helpful. And, and the best of Google. When you sign up for Gmail, you get a Google account that gives you access to a lot of stuff like Google Drive, 15 gigabytes <laughs> wow. of free space, oh guys. You really You're make use of that. in control. Can we... Choose what's right for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can review and adjust your privacy and security settings at any time yeah. at my account. And then replies just to this. going to read the whole thing, I see. <laughs> replies, <laughs> replies to this email aren't monitored, but if you have a question, oh my gosh. <laughs> try right, stop. Please stop. Oh my gosh. Please stop. Enjoy I, your new account. I wanted <laughs> So uh, we monitor. did it. So please, someone, please email us next week. <laughs> that's please. A, that's a tease. We miss you. <laughs> but our email is superbscast@gmail.com. We love it. Anything else you guys want to add? Anything you want to plug? Any <laughs> any holes you want to plug? Uh, no, I'm good. You're not plugging your job. <laughs> you <don't like> <laughs> plug for my <laughs> law firm on the show. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you guys need professional lawyering, then you oh can contact this. Uh, anything from you, Jake? Anything you got plug? Get uh, those plugs out now. Nothing soon. I finished the first draft of a book, but I'm I'm quite a ways out. Nice. Well, that's going to come out. That's something so. we need to talk about next episode. Instead of wasting this BS time talking about Dave, about Banjo, Tooie, or whatever <laughs> crap he loves and his mom loves too. We need to actually talk about real shit. And if we can get into the, your law form, firm a little bit more. Yeah. And your law form. I'm sure. Which is, <laughs> is the posture I take while practicing law. Can we get oh, into oh. that form? Uh, I want to get some 20XD666. Uh, uh, kick up the D3, 3D, 3D. 3D3. Uh, <laughs> and we are out. <laughs> oh, yeah. That uh, to us people that can feel things, it it uh, it hurts.